Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to God of War Haunawak, and to our playthrough on Give Me God of War difficulty, with most of the HUD functions turned off. Well, we are about to head back into Sindri's house to go see Tyr, after we discovered that uh, the prophetess, uh, Koa, had lied to Odin about her, her prophecy about Haunalak. And then we're going to figure out where we go from there. At first we're going to have a little conversation with Hatha Tusker. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral form still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, little freak. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Until we meet again. Hey, little guy. You don't have to run away. Uh. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whatever you like, Kratos. seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the middle. Mm. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. You really must. This vision of Mind. Oh, I like vegetables. Crime is good as Odin is evil. The truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. <laughs> No, you certainly aren't modest, Tia. Perceiving yourself as wise. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? 
everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that oh atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. Already gone. Letter. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or anything. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let go! Druma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can whatever. you tell me whatever. where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <laughs> ah! <sighs> I gotta get out of here.
should pay for what he said about mother. But we're God. We can do whatever yes. we want. Please, please wait. Please. <laughs> This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Briefly, just switch back to this. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, it says, Follow you? Dream look, or whatever. Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? that smell the air here it's I don't know sweeter maybe it's these trees <laughs> ah. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me <laughs> that's a joke right I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here?
I'm not finished with it yet. The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angle Boda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are... me. You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. It's quite a dream. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. Joppa! It's supposed to be Ugol. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Yep. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. Jaffa! Destruction. Approach. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be giant. <laughs> no, not all of them, but some of them are. As you know. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. A 
must be a little awkward being a bit player in someone else's story. Can't you guys watch out? Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? <clears throat> I did. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. See anything at all here? Yeah. Seems a little weird. Oh well. Tree. Mother said the other races of the Nine Realms look at the world as individual trees in a forest. They see people in nature and time and destiny as separate elements. But not us. The Yutna know that all these are th all branches. The Yutna know that these are all branches of the same tree. That you can't separate love from fate from the flap of a bird's wings without harming the tree itself. Maybe that's why I saw no fear in her eyes when she talked about walking her path, when she talked about her impending death. Sometimes that comforts me, knowing her and father's passings were just one branch in a great and ever-growing tree. Other times, I just miss them. <laughs> we 
you like breaking stuff? It's just something my father... <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Yeah, my father likes son in that regard. See ya! God damn it. Uh, man. They have so much health on the goddamn kamikaze Looking wiring. Good. Thanks! Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, totally. They're really the only enemy, I think, that really feels like they just have way too much health. <laughs> And give me God of War difficulty. How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh. Sorry, I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Rampaging events. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. She is. Awful. Confident Thanks. there, Loki. Guess I'm still getting the hang Loki. of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> Too. <laughs> All right. 
Help me with this? Oh, sure. Hang on. Okay, now you. Whoa. That's Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Ah, uh, okay! Yeah, we <gasps> fell behind down. way too far there. She was cheating. Well, you beat me. I mean, I already knew the path. <laughs> it's kind of like cheating. Yeah, you also seem to be cutting a corner there at the end, so. I've seen these before. Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just Loki. <laughs> uh. Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled the vision. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. It's a weighty endeavor. Uh. Tatsulwum. Few venture to the lands where these tunneling bastards roam, and even fewer can survive an attack. They'll burrow through the earth as a fish swims through water, waiting for any unsuspecting soul to step on the wrong patch of land. Their barbed tails pierce flesh with ease, flooding their victims with venom. It's an all-around terrible experience, made all the worse by the, the almost playful sadism they seem to possess whilst toying with their victims. Cursed Tasselwurm. Perhaps by now we're all aware that the cursed descriptor means there's no poison means there's poison involved. No. Not really a need for further elaboration. That's a bit of a meta comment meta comment there, I feel like. More hacks over. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty more button clamps today. I hope so. <gasps> uh. 
Here. Oh, yeah. Isn't that been your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, others see the future and get stop by it. I'm a Buddha. There's a girl here in Ironwood. Her name is Anga Buddha, and she's the same age as me. A giant, too. She's really funny, and she paints and his friends with the wolves here. She's unlike anyone I've ever met in so many different ways. She says she has been waiting her whole life to meet me, which sounds so crazy. It's actually a lot of pressure to try to meet whatever expectations she has of me. I just need to stay calm and get a better feel for everything that's going on here, but wow, so much is happening so fast. It's interesting with Anga Buddha's name. Like, Anga is the uh, the Danish uh, word for uh, remorse. And I think, if I remember in Old Norse, her name means like a carrier of sorrow or something to that effect. Which fits pretty well to the etymology of that word in Danish, I think. Anyway, let's have a look at the Murals. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've seen this before. Where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already. Just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No. No. It's not right. That can't be what happened. No. No. This isn't real. Ironwood's not real. The Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. You're okay. You're okay. You're all alright. You'll be okay. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, calm down. Calm down. Okay, you're fine. Sorry. I don't know what happened. No, oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. I was mean to. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. 
You're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I reckon we'll call it a day here for today's episode. Thank you, as always, for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you'll join me for the next episode where we join Angaboda and head further out into uh, the Ironwood. Until then, please do take care, be safe, enjoy life, and good night and good luck. Bye-bye.